Okay, here I am chatting to Geordie Mercer from Australia uh, and a very well-known Iron Man, comes from a famous Iron Man family and she's been a fantastic Iron Woman in her own right. Uh, you've won the, uh, have you won the series and all the Nutri-Grain series? Yes, right? yep. yeah, won the Nutri-Grain Nutri Iron Woman series. Yep, she's won, how many times you won that? Uh, the Nutri-Grain Iron Woman series, I've won one, yep. one series and yep. the, when it comes to Molokai and the Kahibi yep. Crossing, um, I've I've won six consecutive paddleboard titles. Yeah, so yeah. for me, the ocean ski crossing was a new challenge and yep. it's a new craft, I think, for some fresh inspiration. Right. So last year was my first crossing on the ocean ski and this year's my second time and I'm back to do better than I did last year. Awesome. How did you go last year? Last year, I finished up third. Okay. And I've probably learnt the most that I ever have in any of the crossings that I've done. Wow. So I'm thankful for that and I think that it was, um, you know, very humbling. I think it, it always is coming yeah. over to race across that channel. It's inevitable that you will learn, you know, yeah. and I think that's what you're prepared, you're, what you're prepared for. It's, it's never what you think it's going to be like out there and that's the beauty of it. That's what keeps me coming back and I hope that each year, you know, you, those lessons, you learn, you improve, you grow and yeah. As long as you're not making the same mistake twice, then you're winning. <laughs> Absolutely. And what did you learn last year? Oh, a couple of secrets that I hope uh, I hope um, <laughs> help me get across this year the fastest yeah. way I possibly can. But yeah. more than anything, I think it's just um, just being prepared to change your decisions and the race plan that you think you have when the conditions. Um, as I said, it's just so unpredictable that. Yes, it gives you confidence knowing that I've got a race plan and this is how I'm going to mm. sit in the field, this is when I'm going to attack yep. and when I'm going to go and different things like that or even knowing, okay, this is the way the tide's moving so my plan is to hit the wall early, try and yep. work my way against China Wall, or Coco yep. Head and looking at the conditions each year, I've tried to do that and, yep. and have a plan of how I can best use the ocean um, on the day. So I think last year's lesson was just making a mistake um, at the crucial part of the race which was a couple of hundred meters really or probably a kilometer off Coco Head and that's where the race can be won and lost so I fought really hard last year I was loving the conditions I felt like it really suited me I didn't have the luxury of a huge build-up um, with a lot of K's paddling I had just done sprint Ironwoman but I came over and the conditions were amazing, so I thought, okay, this is my chance, you know, the, the ocean's going to help me get across yeah. this year, so I just need to work with it, and, and I did, but um, I didn't have enough left in the tank, and a silly little decision, or just a decision I thought was not that silly, yeah. but it turned out that on the day it wasn't the best call to make, so yep. their lessons learnt, and okay. yeah, hopefully this year I can change those things. Great. Great, and you've, uh, have you done, as your preparation, you've done plenty of work this year and miles on the boat this year? Yes, I have. This year it's been really awesome to know that I, I've put in the hard yards, you know, yep. and coming off of last year and knowing where I was at against the girls and now just being able to sit with like a little bit of confidence knowing that I've done so much more work and had the luxury of focusing on this event, preparing for it. So I'm in much better shape than I was last year with a lot more Ks under the belt. Yeah. So, you know, I just I just hope at, at, at this point, there's nothing more that I can do. It's really just maybe my headspace and the thoughts that I'm thinking, but the hard work is done. You know, there's, yep. there's no more kilometers strength endurance that I can steal from this point in. It's just a mental game and I'm feeling really good. I'm just, I'm anxious and I'm excited to get out there and, and to see what the channel provides. And I, I just can't wait to kind of put that hard work to use. You know, it's kind of Sunday showtime. It's yep. been a whole lot of cold and early mornings back home and where are you based uh i'm based on the sunshine coast so maybe i'm not allowed to say it's cold, <laughs> no, that's okay. it's cold. Compared, compared to here to i guess <laughs> yeah, a couple colder mornings yeah definitely early mornings you know fitting it in amongst everything else that's happening in my life and the sacrifices that i make and i just hope that someday i can get out there and make it all worthwhile well you've got a great field in the women so um if you you know if you uh, go too better than you did last year, then you uh, you will be uh, 
champion in, in probably the best field I've ever seen. I'm really excited to see the women's race as well as the men because it feels so strong. So yeah, go out I, and have fun. Thank you. Yeah. I agree. I think when you have the opportunity to race against the very best in the world in any event, but a world championship, this is the event that you want to win. These are the wins that mean the most because you know that you've done it against the best that's out there. So that alone is an unreal opportunity and come Sunday, I'm gonna be out there making the absolute most of it. Great, well, good luck on Sunday. Thanks, Tim. I hope you uh, do achieve everything you want to and I also hope you have fun. More Thank importantly, you. in the race. Although the last hour is hard to have fun in, but I hope you have fun. Yeah, <laughs> if I try to have fun the whole way, I think that's a pretty good process to be working towards. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Geordie. Appreciate it. Cheers.